Hey, what do you have it ready? It's been recording. Oh, stupid. Why you don't fucking tell me? Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but I changed my YouTube name. So instead of Ladybug, it's now Crazy Bug. You stink like shit. Sean! <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As some of you guys probably may not have noticed, I changed my YouTube channel name from Ladybug to Crazy Bug. Um, so I'm going to give a shout out to Susan for the idea. La Su. Um, anyway, so today we'll be talking about BTS's new CD that came out Friday, which is Map of the Soul 7. And I literally just bought this today at Target. So shout out to Target for having this in stock. They had all four versions. They have version 1, 2, 3, and 4. I ended up buying version 4 just because I was undecided. Like, I really like the way version set, version 1 looked. But I was literally at Target for like 30 minutes and I was like, oh, which album should I get? Like, which one out of the book? Which, basically, they're the same thing, I guess. I just, maybe they probably have like a different poster in each one. So let's go ahead and start opening it up. <laughs> they're not normal. Okay. okay, so here we go, guys. Literally, I've been waiting for this since, like, Thursday night, but because I've recently got a part-time job, I literally have no time to have a life for real now. So, anyways, um, this thing, I don't know if you can see it, they have to zoom in. But this little thingy came with the album, I don't know what it is, I guess you have to scan it for sound check sweepstakes, so, yeah. Okay, so this is what the front looks like, and um, the it kind of feels like Map of the Soul, like the texture of it. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up. So, can you see this? Like, if you have you? Anyway, <laughs> when you open the thingy, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired, guys. So when you open up the, the thing, the, you know, the box in which the CD came in, because it feels like a box, you got the CD right here. And this version of the album, I guess, comes with this poster. So this is a poster right here. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but my boyfriend is being my cameraman today and then so that and then this other thing came in where you like scan the qr code on weekly or weply however you say it i don't know and in my uh photo card i got uh john cook so there you go which is cool because i don't have him i only have uh j hope lee and sugar so, yeah. And then also what's cool is I got this cute little, cute little like doodle type of thing where I guess, uh, I don't know, like they edited the picture of it or the little photo card to make it look funny and whatnot. And what I like about it in the back is that it has like their signatures. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but it has like all of their signatures and um, some Korean writing that I don't understand yet 100%, but um, I'll probably have to Google that later on. Uh, let me see. Then you got um, this stuff that I don't know what it is, but it comes in like every CD that you buy. Then you got the notes which is all in Korean, which, like I said, I still don't know all, how to read Korean or even, you know, so one, one day I'm going to eventually learn 100% what, what they talk about in the notes. Then you got this cool map of the Soul 7, like, uh, I don't know, like a paper, I, I guess, maybe for coloring, I don't know. Um, then it has like the, 
I, I guess this is what I would call like the lyrics book. So I like it because mostly in all of the CDs that they, that they um, make um, and they sell, it always comes with, the, with the, like the lyrics to the songs, which I think is pretty cool because most of the time, you know, I don't have time to Google it. So I really like the idea that they do this stuff. Um, and then also what's included is like these, these cute stickers and also again like like silly pictures where they were like edited by someone which I have a feeling maybe it was John Cook because he's the only one who doesn't look goofy in the picture and I'm not saying they all look goofy but you know like the funny characteristic type of thing so yeah um, I'm kind of excited to put these in my school notebook and then I don't know if this is like a what this is but it comes like in a like a see-through cover thingy I don't know how you call it but it's like up because I don't want to rip the sticker and um so it has again the number seven and then that little small photo card that I showed you guys earlier that had the little doodles this is the exact same thing but a bigger version so i guess like if you want to hang it up in your room and whatnot um me sometimes i do hang up uh their posters but not all the time because i like to keep them the way that they are uh just for you know reasons i guess then it comes like this cool little book that you can like flip open and it has all of their pictures and then you know and they all look so cute and then they have J-Hope. J-Hope, if you ever watch this video, you are my hope. Anyway, so now you got a picture of J-Hope and Jimin. <sighs> and what can we say about Jimin? He's just beautiful. I'm just like, wow, dude, you are amazing. And you know, just kind of all these cool pictures. Then you got RM with his cute dimples. I don't know if you can see. Can you zoom in on the dimples, please? So, yeah. So, he's pretty cute. Um, basically, I think they're all cute, but my, my favorite one is J-Hope. Um, literally, he makes me laugh and smile all the time. And, you know, I just kind of flip through the whole book. And it just kind of has all these different pictures and, you know, whatnot. And I guess maybe they didn't staple these two because... You know, if you want to like say one day like, oh, I want to hang this in my wall, and then the next day you're feeling like, oh, I want to carry, I want to hang this one that bad boy style. You know, I don't know, I'm just making that up. And then you got this one, you got a, you know, Jen, aka Worldwide Handsome, and then you know, writing, and then of course you have V, who's just. Such a cutie pie. I don't know. Something about him is just so adorable. Um, then you got a picture of John Cook and RM and then John Cook again. And then, you know, so on and so on. Just like a picture book that has like posters that you can just like rip apart. So I'm really excited to actually, I might actually just hang one of these up in my room um, just because. Yeah, and then um, another good thing is I was actually able to buy BTS concert tickets. And let me tell you, that shit is the most stressfulest thing that I ever went through. Okay, no, that's not the most stressfulest thing I went through. But, you know, um, basically how I got tickets was because I did the, uh, where you like sign up for the pre-sale or something like that. So like if you weren't a verified uh, fan or if you didn't have like the, I guess like the the membership, the BTS membership, which I really wanted so bad. It's just my wallet was saying no because of how expensive it was. I was like, yeah, it's not going to happen. But I don't know if they do it like this every year or like the times that they've been having concerts. Because last year I was very disappointed because I literally cried to my boyfriend because I couldn't get no tickets to the BTS concert. <sighs> Broke my heart. 
But anyways, this year I'm really excited because I'm going to go and then I'm going to go with uh, this old co-worker of mine. So shout out to Jennifer, aka Jenny. We're about to hit up Dallas like, what? No, I'm just kidding. But for real, we're going to Dallas to the BTS um, concert and we're both really excited and we still can't believe it, you know? Um, I guess the most stressful part about getting tickets this time was because once you enter the I don't know how you say it like the queue room or whatever like you wait in line online if that makes sense so whenever I first enter like the waiting room or whatever um there was like maybe 2,000 something people in front of me so it was freaking stressful I was like what the hell like I am not gonna get these BTS concerts and I'm just like dude like I need to go because what if they do end up you know going into the army and then what if I lose my chance of seeing them like I was like damn you know but I waited in that line online for the longest time not losing hope thinking of all the different possibilities that could happen for me if I kept waiting or logging off and just giving up. But you know what? I didn't give up. I stayed in that line. And it was, like I said, it was stressful, but I really liked it. And um, whenever I was able to get tickets, I was just so excited. Like, I don't know. I have a feeling that once the day comes, for the concert, I'm gonna be like super excited and like kind of teary, you know, because you ever just get so excited that you just kind of want to cry. There, you know, like tears of joy, I guess, because it's just exciting, you know. Like a lot of people that know me, I'm like a big BTS fan, so this is like really the only one thing that I really, really wanted. Um, in life right now you know so i'm really excited and i'm so excited that i get to attend my first bts concert um eventually as the time comes closer because the, the concert is in may i'll try to put together a uh what to take to your first bts concert video so um once I find out what things you can take, then I'll go ahead and make a video and post that video for all you armies out there. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I really appreciate your honesty. Um, you know, please leave comments down below. If you want to give me feedback or something i don't know just something and i know i haven't posted in a while it's just honestly it's just i don't have the right editing stuff because i have a crappy computer so it makes it really difficult but this video i'm not gonna edit i'm gonna just upload it how it is just because it's late and i'm tired and i have work tomorrow and i still gotta do homework so yeah um oh but before i actually cut the video off don't cut that don't cut it before i cut the video off i wanted to also share with you guys my parents were just recently recently went to mexico and they brought me back chapulines so chapulines are uh roasted grasshoppers and from the part of mexico that my parents are from this is something that they that they eat um you know like they have like this big tortilla looking like thing and then like you'll put like beans and meat and then you'll put like chapulines and let me tell y'all this is like this is my shit right here like this is i know it's weird and a lot of people are like ew grasshoppers but you know what they're really good like i just like the crunchy feeling that you get when you bite into it it's just oh my god like my mouth is getting watery right now just thinking about it but I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you want to zoom in? Um, let me get like a paper towel so y'all can see what I'm talking about. <sighs> okay, so. Oh, and then also a tip. If you do ever eat chapulines, my favorite ones are like the really small ones because the big ones, they have like a they have like a, a weird sour taste to them and i don't i don't like that taste but these oh my god 
I, I think these are so good. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Can you? Can they see? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. Like, you know, I don't even just eat one at a time. I just, you know, take like a little bundle like that. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. Like, I don't understand. My boyfriend's over here gagging because he, he, he thinks I'm weird. But, you know, I probably am weird. Okay. I am weird. I own up to that. But, oh my God. Like, just, mmm. They're like soft and a little bit crunchy. Mmm. And I don't know, like, how to explain the taste, but they're actually pretty good. Um, I love these. They're just great, like, you know? So I'm gonna pour more on my napkin. And then I'm gonna save these so I can keep snacking on for the rest of the week. I wanna give a shout out to my mom and dad for bringing me back Chapulina from Mexico. Thank you. And then, can you get a closer? Mm. So, like I was saying, okay, so before the video got cut off, these are the chapulines, like I was saying, so, there, look, on this one, you can see the little eyeballs, oh, shit, I mean, but, yeah, like, y'all, these are freaking good, and I only like eating the small skinny ones, si se mira bien? The small skinny ones. Um, I don't like the big fat chubby ones because, like I said, they taste sour. But they're really good. Okay. Mm. Right. I don't know how to explain. But you know what the funny thing is? That I'll eat these, but I'm actually afraid of grasshoppers. Like in the summertime when you see the big ass grasshoppers here in Oklahoma. That's scary. And I'm scared of like bugs, but I'm not scared of to eat these. Um, so yeah, like I said, guys, um, feel free to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down and subscribe or unsubscribe, you know. I really appreciate your time. So let me go back to enjoy. Don't give it a thumbs down. My boyfriend only wants to give it a thumbs down because he hates these, but. Mmm. Um. Yeah, so y'all have a good night. Stop. <laughs> okay, I'm done.